Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna talk about how we can use the TI-84 Plus CE Graphing Calculator to perform operations on functions. So I did a previous video on how to do this just by hand, so if you wanna check that out so that you can know how to do this by hand and also on the calculator, then I will link that video in the description below. Now, as for this video, let's jump right in. We're gonna learn a couple things on the calculator. Um, obviously, we're gonna talk about how we can perform operations, but we're also gonna learn about how to use some of the buttons, how we can input Y1 into our screen that we see right here, like not graph something, but just uh, do an operation with Y1, because that would be kind of what we're talking about in this video, how to perform some operations on functions. So for this video, we're gonna use these two equations. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Y equals, and we're gonna graph for y1, the square root of x, and for y2, we're gonna graph the square root of 20 minus x squared. Okay, so I got those two functions in my calculator. I can hit graph, and it shows me what it looks like, okay? Now, we're gonna perform some operations. So we wanna add these two functions, we wanna subtract them, we wanna multiply them, and then we wanna divide them, and uh, we're gonna figure out when um, x is equal to three, uh, what's the y value, right? And so here's how we can do that. So let's clear this, all right? Now we still have our two functions in our y equals screen. So we hit graph, we hit clear, we know they're still there, okay? So now what we wanna do is we want to start off by adding these two functions. So to do this, we need to hit this button over here that says VARS, V-A-R-S, it's just to the right of clear. So I'm gonna hit VARS. And I wanna go over to y VARS. So now the first option says function, so I'm gonna hit enter, and now it lists the function values that I potentially have an equation graphed for, and we do have an equation or a function graphed for y1 and y2, and we wanna add them, um, and we wanna figure out what is the sum when x is equal to three. So I'm gonna hit enter for y1, and now in parentheses here, I'm just gonna type a three, and now I'm gonna hit plus, right? And so now I'm gonna go back to vars, go over to y vars, hit enter on function again, and now we want our y2 function, and we're gonna also put in three in parentheses just like this, okay? So now, we have this set up, we can go ahead and hit enter, and it tells us our solution, and we could round that to the nearest hundredth, 5.05, okay? So that's the process of how to add, and now we're just gonna repeat that to subtract, multiply, divide, um, and then I'll show you an, al an alternative way to actually do this as well, okay? So let's go back to vars, we want y1, and we're gonna put three in parentheses again. Now this time we're gonna subtract. So now we go back to vars, over to y vars, hit enter, uh, down to y2, and we're gonna put three in parentheses this time. Now we hit enter, and we have our solution for when we subtract these two functions and x is equal to three, it would be negative 1.58, okay? Now let's multiply them, all right? So vars, over to y vars, uh, we want function, so we hit enter, y1, enter again, and once again, put three in parentheses. Now this time we're gonna use multiplication. So we hit vars, over to y vars, function, we want y2 this time, and we're gonna put three in parentheses once again, and we hit enter and we get 5.74, okay? So now we've done addition, subtraction, multiplication, now let's divide, and then I'll show you an alternative way to perform these operations. So let's go y1, and we want three again. Now this time let's divide. And let's go back to vars, y vars, function, y2. And we'll put three in parentheses once again. Okay, so we hit enter and we get 0 0.52 and we're done. All right, so that is one way to do it. Um, that's how you can, you know, that's what the vars button does. That's how you can get to be able to put y1 or y2 on your graphing calculator main screen to perform some operations, okay? So now we have these four solutions here, right? 5.05, negative 1.59 or 58, uh, 5.74 and 0 0.52. So let's talk about a different way we could do this by using the trace feature. So let's go back to y equals and notice how we have you know y1 and y2 graphed. Now, if we graph y3 as the, um, as the sum of these two functions, then we could actually just graph the result and then use the trace feature to figure out what is y when x is three. So here's how we could do this. So we go down to y3, we go back to vars, over to y vars, just like we did a minute ago to get y1. Now let's add, and let's go back to vars, y vars, function, we want y2, okay? So now we're gonna add them. All right, now, what I wanna do is just graph the 
sum of the two functions, which is y3. So I'm going to go up to y2 on the equal sign, and I'm going to hit enter to turn that off, y1 and turn that off. And now when I hit graph, it just graphs the sum of y1 and y2. So now what did I want to know? Well, I wanted to know what is y when x is 3. So if I hit trace, type in 3, and hit enter, we get 5.05. Okay, so if I clear this and I go back to my home screen, 5.05 .05 is what we had when we added them, okay? So now what about when we subtract them? We'll go back to y equals, and we just go down here to y3 and change the plus sign to minus sign. We hit graph. Now we do trace. What is x when, or what is y when x is three? We hit enter. We get negative 1.58. So when we clear this, that's what we had originally, negative 1.58, all right? So now let's do multiplication. So y equals, go down, change this to multiplication, hit graph, trace, what is y when x is three? We get 5.74. So if we go back to our home screen, 5.74 is what we had, okay? And the last one, let's go to y equals and let's change this to division. So we're gonna divide, we'll hit graph, trace, we wanna know when x is three, what is y, and we get uh, 0.522. So we clear that to go back to our home screen, and that's what we had, right? So personally, I think maybe this second method might be a little quicker, um, but there is two different ways to perform operations on your TI-84 Plus C graphing calculator.